going on guys? It's Kurt here again. What? Bringing you another gameplay of Insurgency Sandstorm. But this one is uh, called Frenzy, the game mode. It's basically just a bunch of uh, enemy enemy fighters coming at you with melee weapons and molotovs. And what the main objective of the players in co-op is just to move through the objectives as you usually would in uh in usual co op games. And uh you're basically fighting a whole horde of enemies. Uh we do end up losing this game. Uh, nonetheless. We lost quite a bit. Actually it took us many tries but we still lost. But I really found this game super fun, so I decided to share it anyways. Because this will probably go down in one of my best gaming memories for sure. I had a lot of fun. I was smiling throughout the whole game. Um, so, as you can see by the title, uh, this is another commentary. And with these commentaries, I feel like I'll probably just talk about topics that are super relatable to people our age. People in our demographic, what they go through. This one is uh, specifically about heartbreak and uh, women dating. So heartbreak is uh, something, of course, I'm not, I'm not new to. Um, it's something that I've gone through many times, quite recently actually. But I was talking to one of my friends at the gym. Uh, he was a good friend of mine in high school. And he, uh, he usually goes to a different school now since we're both in university. I talked to him, I caught up with him one day. I mean, usually he's, uh, he's a pretty happy guy, but I noticed there was something a little bit off about him. So I asked him, what's wrong? I'm not going to say his name, but he, he told me one thing straight and simple, heartbreak. And from that moment on, I didn't need him to explain anything further than that. Um, of course that's also because of his privacy, but he, I understood enough to just not, just to infer and analyze why heartbreak would do such a thing. In my honest opinion, heartbreak is normal. Um, I feel like at one point in our lives, heartbreak will happen. It doesn't have to be about dating relationships I feel like heartbreak can actually happen when you put your fervent passion and trust and belief and dreams into one thing and usually you would want that to turn out the way you want it to be and it doesn't and I feel like the best word for that is to the best word to describe that is heartbreak you would feel heartbroken because Things didn't turn out the way it, it did, like you hoped it would. But in terms of what I'm talking about with my friend is, I feel like it's more about relationships. And relationships, I feel like, are the most is the most common form of heartbreak that a lot of people are going to go through. Yeah, I know, sometimes you get a lot of people saying, Oh, man, oh, yeah, at least you have that problem, you know? Well, you... Just because just because some people are feeling it and you're not doesn't mean you don't have the you can't sympathize with them. I feel like a lot of the times we'd like to think of ourselves first, and I really feel like that we should begin to think slowly, slow things down, and just make sure that the other person is okay. Make sure that you actually feel for them. Basically, what I'm saying is genuine, genuinely feel for them and being genuine about your actions a lot of the times people do want to show sympathy but just don't know how to I feel like the best thing to go about it is to put yourself in their position when somebody's going through a heartbreak like a relationship and you say that you've never been into one that's okay you can still sympathize for them but the best thing you can do there is in my opinion is just to to make them know that they're loved, they're still loved, that they, they that you still appreciate them for other qualities. 
And then the best thing to do is not to intervene and, oh, I think you're completely right. But, I, like I said, every situation is different. In terms of heartbreak, it's very difficult. It's really, really difficult. I think I knew it. I think I knew of a time when I witnessed a couple of my friends, even my closest friends, go through a heartbreak, and I never really had any serious relationships. So I, I always just looked at them and said, "Why, why are they making this such a big deal? You know, like it's just a heartbreak." Right, like, the the word that I used there was inappropriate. I said just a heartbreak. I said that because I never actually understood why they were feeling that way. I never actually got in that position. So, I made the bold assumption saying that, Oh, you know what? I think I know what it's all about. I know what to do when a heartbreak does happen. And in fact, I really didn't know what to do, honestly. I just never assumed that it would actually happen to me one day. My first heartbreak was uh was definitely one of my uh one of my of course, I think all of them are serious. But there is uh there's a couple, at least one a few that stand out that I feel like um could that really gave changed me and uh really gave me a great lesson um i don't i don't like to hold any grudges just to be uh just to be clear but uh there were a couple heartbreaks where i feel like it changed me as a person mentally uh not just physically uh, like going to the gym i always do that anyways but there's a couple heartbreaks where uh i knew from the beginning it was toxic um, but I just, uh, an inner part of me told me that it was bad, but my body and my mind at that moment just told me to do, just, just to do it, you know, just to go along with it, but I never really thought it out, and then when things did happen, things, when things escalated, I told myself, like, holy crap, I've seen it coming, but... I didn't do anything to prevent it from happening, so now I have to deal with this. And let me tell you, those three, four months were probably one of the hardest moments in my life. Because I thought I loved her, but, uh, and I did, actually. You know, I, when I, I'm the type of person where if I do say I love somebody, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be in love like in love with them like just uh just just very shallow shallowly like i mean it when i say i'm in, i like i love someone i mean it as in like oh i hope everything will work out with us together but but i guess i'm just too young to uh really assume any type of that stuff so uh my uh my other heartbreak was something more of a mature heartbreak actually this most recent one i uh i really loved her i really really did i saw myself marrying her i uh saw a future with her uh even though sometimes i i did feel really guilty because i i, I really think she's the most sweetest person in the world and um even though she was the sweetest person in the world i would sometimes wouldn't I wouldn't treat her for what she deserved. So as you can tell probably with all that moment it's probably the feeling of uh lack of gratitude. Um taking them taking advantage of them sort of, even though I never thought I was. I thought that my love was enough, but um turns out I didn't really know how to love because this per individual, she was amazing. She's an absolutely amazing person. And uh, I just wasn't right for her, I guess. Even though in my head, I thought everything was going right. I missed a lot of things. I knew I should have treated her better and all that. Um, but this one, this most recent one, was definitely life-changing as well. 
she helped me grow, she helped me become a better person, and she helped me grow maturely. Um, but now I, uh, I take the lessons I learned from her. I, uh, we have nothing bad going on. And, uh, I take those lessons and I implement them in my life. So, really, what I'm trying to say is that heartbreak can really teach you a lot of things. Not just about loving someone better or not loving someone or going the next to the next person, but also just helping you change into a better person overall helps you focus on yourself love yourself more appreciate people for their presence before they're gone and uh yeah i mean that's just that's just how it is then i guess uh in the span of this short video that's all i could say i would uh talk about it more but that's it that's all i have to say about heartbreak thank you guys for watching